hello and welcome back so in the last video we were able to go to the open weather map dot org to see the api and see the data we can retrieve so we click on this the current um weather data so we can see the data we want to retrieve we are retrieving in the json format so here as i said we we'll get the weather main which group of weather parameters like rain, snow, extreme, weather description, weather icon. Then we get the temperature, the pressure, humidity, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, uh, wind speed, wind direction, get the country, country code and the rest. You can decide to retrieve every data if you want. So, but for this, we're just going to retrieve all of those data. Now here, we're going to display the data underneath this search input or this input field so to do that let's get go back to our page and add the um, javascript file first we create a new file we can call it weather.js now inside the weather.js we add the document ready that is for the dom to get the dom ready the document object model So we have this now. Now the next thing we want to do is, if we go back here, we want to add a click event to this, so that when we click this, whatever is inside this input field will be sent to the API, and the results will be returned. So we get the ID of this button here. So if we go back to our current.html, we can see that the ID here is submit weather. We can just copy that. Then we add using this selector. Now, what we did here was using this jQuery selector, we're getting the ID. If we are getting the class, maybe we want to use this button class, this BTN. Here, it's just going to be something like this dot BTN. Because we are getting the class of this uh, element here. But since we are using ID, we are, just, we are going to use the hash sign. So, we are going to use the hash sign to get the ID. Then dot click which takes the function inside of it so we get the ID of the input field here then we're adding a click event to it so we don't need to use submit because we're not using a form we are not submitting we are adding a click event to this since there is no form then the next thing we want to do now is we want to add just a simple validation or first we need to get the value from this input field and here we added the id called city so to get the value we are going to make use of this id so we come down here and we can say variable city equal to use the selector then the id city dot val so here we are getting the id or the value using the val method so we use the id with this selector.val now the next thing is we need to um, check that the input field is not empty that the user is not trying to submit an empty field so we use if condition say so if city is not equal to empty then we are going to perform the request else we are going to show uh, an error to the user we're going to add inside our current.html we're going to add uh, an element with id of error first we'll get it though we don't have the element yet we'll just add the id of error then dot html so inside this html we can add the message that says field cannot be empty so we've added this let's quickly just add the um, element with this id we can do that here let's see we can do that here and let's add a span with id error so this error message we have inside of this html will be displayed inside this element this span tag we have here now the next thing 
before we forget let's add this weather.js inside our current.html so down below the page after the bootstrap.min.js we add the script tag then the source which is weather.js so we have this file now inside our current.html page we go back so we have this the next thing we want to do now is inside here we're going to make the ajax we're going to use ajax request but note since we are using jquery we can either use ajax request or we can use the get json or the get request to get the data using the api key given to us but here i'm just going to use the ajax method so if you check out some tutorials they might use the this method get json to get the data yes it will also work but for me here i just want to use this ajax method here i just want to use the ajax method to get the results so inside this ajax method it takes in some parameters the first parameter we want to pass in is the url so we pass the url then after that we pass the type then after type we we'll add the data type as well the data type or we can let's just leave that out first let's add the url so for the url to make use of the url we go back to the open weather map to get that so if we come here the open weather map let's go up so this is the link that we are going to be making use of so in place of this London, we are going to replace it with the value we get from this input field. So we can copy that out here. We take this, we go to our page. Then inside this double quotes, we paste the link, but we need to put the HTTP. So we're making a HTTP uh, request. So HTTP then api.openweathermap.org slash data slash 2.5 slash weather with this value now instead of this london that we have here then we are going to replace it with the city that we have which is getting the city uh, the value from the input field storing inside this variable city so now the next thing is let's concatenate the city to it city now what we want to do if we go back to the open weather map api we go down there is something that we need to see the units here unit format now we have the standard the metric and the imperial units now if no unit is specified it returns the result in standard but we can specify the metric units or the imperial units take for example if we what the unit for the temperature for standard if we do not specify any units is going to be the it's going to be in Kelvin that is for temperature but for if we specify the unit as metric it's going to return the temperature in Celsius if we specify the unit as imperial for temperature is going to return the result in Fahrenheit so since we want the result to be returned like for temperature we want the result to be returned in celsius we're going to use the metric unit so what we just need to add is we add units equal to metric so if you want to add other if you want to use other um uh, unit formats like imperial you could just use units equal to imperial like we have it here but i'm going to use units equal to metric so that i'll have my temperature for example in uh celsius i don't need to convert or start adding a code to convert the temperature so to do that we go back to our page here we add the ampersand then we say units let's see units so units equal to metric then the next thing we want to do we want to add the api key because without the api key as we saw earlier without the api key this can't work so if we go back if let's just copy this 
go to our browser paste without using the api key it's going to return an error a message to us so we see this error because we don't have an api key attached to this so if we add the api key because i already have my api key here then it's going to return the results so now let's go back here so here we're going to add the api key to this okay so here i'm adding the api key let me just go to my browser and copy this api key i have here so i copy from this app id then paste inside here okay so here we are making the call by city name then we are adding the units metric and also adding our app id so we have the url now so the request will be sent to the open weather map by city name using our app id then the next thing is the type we are sending the get request then the data type data type is um, json p which is javascript object notation padding so so some apis only allow you to make these calls with data type in json p if you just send a json uh, data type is going to throw an error so we are sending our request in the using data type um, json p then after that the next thing is the callback that is the success callback then we can pass in data here then inside here that is where we are going to uh, get the data and we display the data so what this means is all of the, the, re the requests being sent the result is stored inside this data we have in the success function inside this callback so what we just need to do is just data dot this data we have here dot the if we go back here if we go to the json here so what we just need to do take for example if we want to return this weather dot description we'll just say here this data because all of the results are stored inside this data so all the results are stored inside this data then we just do data dot weather dot description to get this weather description but recall i said earlier that since we have this weather if i can look for it here we have this weather inside uh, an array so to get any of this data in the object we use weather with the index and the name of or the key we want to get the value so here we are just going to do data dot weather with the index dot description so we have this right now but if we check this we can just do console.log to see this results so we do console dot log then data so we so that we can see the results that is returned so let's go to our browser we refresh the page now we can open our uh, developers console you just right click for chrome and inspect then here you click on console because we are doing a console.log to log out the data so here we can type in a city uh, we can say madrid let's add in madrid and we click search here we can see we are not getting the results instead we are getting an error the result being we have a problem with i guess with quotes inside of this api request so let's change this to single quotes here as well let's change it to single quotes instead of using double quotes let's change this to single quotes we can refresh now so let's type in madrid okay we are still getting the same uh error we'll try to fix that now let's go to our page okay let's try to see why we are getting the error okay here i can find it we are not adding the ampersand we need to add the ampersand sign so we add that here we add that here the ampersand sign so we have all of this because without the ampersand sign it will just add this api i app id to this units equals to metric and that is going to give us an error so let's go back 
refresh then you can type Moscow here we see the results being returned so if you enlarge you can see all of the results the base the clouds the ID okay I can increase this so you see all of these results returning the object base clouds coordinates inside the coordinates we have the longitude the latitude then we have the main then inside the main we have temperature pressure humidity minimum temperature maximum temperature right now you can see because we are using this unit uh, metrics it's returning the temperature in degree celsius so let's try to remove the units let's see what is going to return so we take this out and let's refresh the page when we minimize this uh, um, yeah so let's see what is going to return if we check the main now you can see it's returning the temperatures in Kelvin that is the standard because we are not adding any uh, units here so we want the results to always be in uh, metrics so then if you check other uh, data here we have the name of the city is Madrid we have the weather and every other data like we have them here so that is what we are returning so we can see that our results our results are being stored inside this uh, value we have here in the data so what we are going to do is to get any data from the uh, results we do data dot the name of the results we want to get so in the next video we'll continue working on this to retrieve the data from the uh, json uh, formats being returned